Hello, everyone, and welcome to Five Ways to Live a Balanced Life. And tonight, I'm going to take you on a journey. I've got a lot to cover, and I would love you to ask any questions along the way. Okay, so let's dive in. And, and also I'll be answering any questions regarding the five-day challenge last week. The five days we covered a lot of different subjects and each day you had an action step. So let me know if you've got any questions. Though this masterclass that I'm taking you through tonight will just lay the foundation on the next steps for you if you choose and if it resonates. But I do have a very special surprise for you at the end. So I encourage you to watch to the end because um, it's a big surprise. Okay, let's dive in to the five ways. Now, the three reasons, and, and I'm going to cover like three reasons why people are not living a, a balanced life or thriving, plus give you three strategies to begin using today so to get you on the right path, as well as five proven steps for you to live a balanced life. So you're in the right place if you want a renewed life. That's what the renewal program is all about. And I'll tell you about that later. And you want to take back control of your life. So if you've been struggling or suffering with emotional or physical pain or any illness or disease or any health issues, and this could be chronic stress or anxiety, even depression and trauma, um, because any unresolved emotional issue that's still not resolved and where you really truly feel peace in your heart, well, then it may turn into an illness or disease. And, and this is where the balance and the freedom and the happiness to thrive in your life comes in. And, and maybe you just want clarity on your next direction. So hang on and I'm going to take you on a ride. Now, I do have a special gift for you and you can um, get that gift on the uh, at the end, I'll give you the link to download that free ebook, which is 33 Tips to Rewire Your Brain, because everything starts in the brain, your mind, and rewiring those neurological networks in your brain. So stay until the end, and I'll give you the free gift. Okay, a little bit about me. I have been studying the mind-body connection for over 30 years. And I've studied and practiced a number of different techniques with several different teachers and leaders in the field, as well as uh, trainers and mentors for over 20 years in my business. I actually healed myself of autoimmune and cancer. So I have visited the dark pit of depression, suicide, felt worthless, pulled myself out with the strategies that I'm about to share with you. And this is why I created the 5R Renewal Program. Because I was carrying so much emotional pain that it created a disease like cancer back in 1990 when I first met my uh, spiritual teacher in California and he helped me to understand why I created the cancer as well as why what my purpose was why I chose the family that I chose because my childhood very traumatic abusive I've got lots and lots of stories. So if I wanted to um, retell those stories, I've got lots of evidence and reasons why um, my life sucks. But 
everyone is playing a role and and everyone has a story and everyone has a dysfunctional family. Uh, just some people are more than others. So um, I created cancer and because back then I didn't have the tools to heal myself and I kept pushing down all the hurt and the sadness and and not feeling loved and feeling unworthy and, and just the abuse, the constant abuse from my siblings, family, mother. And, yeah, and it was like, that's it, I'm out of here. And it was my teacher who actually explained to me um, about the mind-body connection, and that's what put me on my path of studying many, many different modalities and and then when I started my business back in 1999 um, I had a full practice of doing body work energy work healing and still do that work but now it, it's a lot of coaching empowering people to heal their own body as well as to take charge of their life and make clear choices and decisions uh, I also teach a, a healing modality I, I teach a lot of different workshops as well as have online courses so in 2010 I actually moved to California and I lived over there for seven years and this was um, an amazing adventure experience for me and again I met more and more teachers over there so I'll just um, fast forward to some of the people that I've met over the years um, a lot of different celebrities and really that they've all they're all on their own journey as well you know look at Charlie Sheen he's had his ups and downs you know with um, addictions and um, gone through you know boom to bust and anyway no judgment here but I've studied with many many teachers this is just like a handful of the teachers that I've studied with um Tad James I I did all my NLP timeline therapy hypnotherapy that was back in 2006 uh Wayne Dyer I first met him oh that would have been in my 20s so that's about 25 30 years ago and uh, Louise Hay, I did her cruise and I've had her books um, for over 20 years. Um, Greg Braden, Bruce Lipton, Dr. Joe, I mean, those three um, are just amazing. Brendan, I met several times in the US and I've um, done his trainings as well as Barbara DeAngelis. So, um, and plus many others. Um, and I first, and anyway, uh, um, Dr. John Gray and Deepak and Wayne Dyer, I remember they came to Brisbane. That was back, I think, when, okay, that, that would have been, yeah, about 30 years ago. <laughs> They came to Brisbane and um, amazing. So anyway, I've been following many teachers over the years, but let's talk about the three reasons why people are not living a thriving and balanced life. And number one is they have no clarity. You know, they, they feel stuck and this is where they've lost their purpose, their vision, their where are you going if you know, if you um, don't know where you're going, well, then that that feeling um, of not having a direction or clarity on your purpose, your vision, your mission, why you're here, that's what will spiral down um, people because everyone needs 
a purpose, a mission, a vision. Why are you here on this planet? We all chose to be here um, in these physical bodies and we all chose to have this experience as in this this human experience, having um, the uh, awareness as well as consciousness of being in this body on a soul level but also experiencing the emotions that come with it and the interactions and the relationships with other people. So like my family, you know, I chose them as a family for my soul to learn and grow. So I came in as um, their daughter or their sibling um, or sister in order for my soul to learn, to not look externally for love and acceptance and acknowledgement or approval or even protection or support. <laughs> um, it's about knowing I, I came in, it's been a lonely path, but I am totally protected from spirit and that's how I operate. And I follow my inner guidance and I don't look to anyone else except follow my guidance from spirit. And sure, you know, I still have my ups and downs, but it's that connection that is so concrete and, and that's where my faith and trust comes in. So health issues, um, and this can be um, physical health, this can be any pain in your body, any aches or pains, or even anxiety, stress, and depression. So think about if that applies to you, if you just feel completely just hopeless and, and you, you're just really at the bottom of the pit and I have been there, um, I've experienced it and it's not, yeah, I, this is where you really need to dig deep and have compassion for yourself and be gentle and kind as well as know that you are loved and protected by source, by spirit, by the universe, whatever word resonates with you, okay? So, uh, you know, everyone um, has had some kind of trauma and any traumatic experience um, is, again, a learning. At the time, it's uh, difficult and it's challenging, um, especially if it's, you know, come from uh, previous abuse and or even uh, growing up, you know, with a lot of negative conditioning and any uh, trauma of verbal abuse or domestic violence or uh, even any, you know, traumatic event recently. It could be a death of a loved one, um, a loss of a job or any kind of grief. That's... So, so just check in with yourself, you know, what, and, and I don't want to take you to the event, but just think about how you overcame that traumatic event and what's going on. What are you feeling right now? So let's look at three strategies to get you on the right path. And my number one um, is through journaling. Now, I love to write. I have been writing, oh, for well, yeah, ever since my teenage years. And this is how I do a brain dump. This is how I connect, you know, pen to paper. And I just um, empty out my thoughts. And while I'm writing, I actually get a lot of clarity. So it's acceptance and, and acknowledging where you're at and, and looking at um, what is coming through. Because if you are writing, you're actually on some level you're channeling 
the messages. So sometimes it's just do automatic writing and what can come through um, is amazing and quite profound. So, um, and, and this is a good way to get, you know, to release a lot of pent up frustration after a long day. You just write it all out and just watch your stress levels decrease. And, and also journaling has been shown to reduce symptoms of depression. So it really grab pen and paper and start writing. One of the exercises I get my clients to do is, you know, if you're feeling angry or, or you've got a lot of different emotions going on um, is to write it out on a piece of paper and then burn it. And that's really freeing as well. So, um, and, you know, transmuting those fears because, as you know, fear um, is just false evidence appearing as real and it's not true. It's not, um, yeah, it's an illusion. It's an illusion. So let's look at the emotional scale. This is the second strategy, and this is based on the book uh, David Hawkins and the um, emotional scale and as you can see anything from 200 and below are all those low vibration negative emotions so going from trauma to thriving um you need to be in order to thrive you need to be in love peace and joy Whereas when you're stressed, that's normally caused by fear and doubts and worries, overwhelm, uncertainty, which lowers your vibration as well as your immune system. As soon as you go to those lower levels, um, your immune system also lowers. So with the law of attraction, you attract more of what already exists in your body and your auric field. So example for holding on to anger, that only affects your physical and mental health because you're holding on to that energy in your body. So this is where um, doing a forgiveness process, it frees you up. It's not about saying the other person um, did no wrong, but if you can free yourself from holding on to that anger, then your body is going to feel freedom as well as peace, love, and joy. So your body is constantly giving you messages. And when you tune into your body, the answers are there. And it starts with your thoughts, which creates a feeling. And your thoughts create words that you speak or the stories that you tell others. And also the stories you tell yourself, what's going on in your mind and the stories and that chitter chatter, right? So, and those words generate a feeling which develops into emotions. And so adding on to the stress are the beliefs and past traumatic experiences um, that you keep running in the background from your childhood and passed down through the generations and when you release these emotions and that cause the stress in your mind as well as your body when you release that oh my god you you just give yourself a feeling of freedom peace calm and watch your actual health improve so it's about living, breathing, and being in these higher vibration states of being and emotional states on a daily basis and recognizing and being aware of when you drop in and feel these other emotions. You know, guilt and shame is the lowest. So if you are feeling any um, guilt or shame, well, guess where your energy is going? And your energy around your uh, body, your auric field is also affected. 
with these emotions. So when you release the negative emotions that cause the stress and in your body and mind, um, well, then it, it's about protecting your mind and body from any further damage. And that's where your well-being um, is constantly upgraded because you're in charge. You, you're you the thinker. You get to think on a daily basis and you can choose whatever words, thoughts, stories, beliefs that you choose and and that all has an energy vibration on what you're sending out there. So here's another chart just um, which goes a little bit deeper into the dimensions. You might have heard of the third and fourth and fifth dimensions. And, and so, again, the more conscious and aware you are and depending on how much spiritual um, growth that you've done and personal growth, um, you may resonate with this chart. And I won't go into it in too much detail, but I'm sure you get the picture. Okay, let's move on to number three, create new positive daily habits. Now, we all... We all did this in the five-day discovery. We created a new daily habit that we choose to stick to for 33 days. And, and every time you create a new daily habit um, is how you will slowly take charge of your life as well as rewire your neurological networks in your brain. So if you want clarity on why your soul chose to be here on, on earth, um, well, this is where I will go deeper into that in the um, 5R program. Also, just to, especially if you've experienced chronic pain, you know, and you want, want to be free of that, Again, you can heal your own body. Believe me, I've done it. And so many people have done it. And this is where science is catching up to, you know, the the mind and, and how um, unlimited and amazing our bodies are. And they've done so many scientific uh, tests about, giving people placebos or pretending to do surgery and the person heals because they think they've had the surgery or they think that they have taken the pill or medication or whatever, but it's just a placebo. It's a sugar pill. So this is how powerful the mind is and, and releasing the negative influences for you to actually attain that inner peace and joy because everyone deserves to feel love and have compassion and acceptance for who you are as well as for others. So a little bit about, I won't go into too much of my story, um, but how I turned it around, and, and this is where when I was really sick, this is when I created the Ben Method. Uh, so the Ben Method is balance, energy, nurture, and nourish. And the purpose of the Ben Method is to help you go from trauma to thriving, resulting in freedom, love, peace, and joy. And, and this is the, like, holistic um, view, which is a step-by-step -step process um, for sustained well-being for the rest of your life. But it's the five R's that I created nearly 20 years ago, um, which are the five steps that I will take you through. But the special bonus I have for you is I also do have a Ben Method training, which I will share with you. 
And this is encompassing ongoing training for the rest of your life uh, to help you with advanced self-care for your soul. Because the work that I, I, I do with my clients is very deep soul work. And and we go go deep to un to release any trauma held in the body, held in the mind, or um the inner child is carrying. So um I'll go into more of that, but um have a think about on a scale of zero to 10, how balanced is your life right now? And, and which areas require some love or healing? So let's move on. I've worked with a lot of different clients and in my coaching program as well as um so on, on my online through my program, one-to-one -one with my coaching, as well as I teach Palawa healing. So uh, let me just see if this will come up. Got a couple of videos. Oh, okay. So I was going to play you. Oops, a video of um, okay. Sorry about that. It's never mind. Um, if you go to my website, lindaben.com, there's a lot of uh video testimonies you can listen to another a written one is with Kat who did my program as well as coaching as well and um, amazing results um, she came out of a you know a very abusive relationship and hated a job and now she's happy in a new relationship new job and got a promotion so Super um, happy for her. Okay, let's talk about the 5R Renewal Program. And these are the five steps. So the first step um, is release. And when this is really going deep um, and releasing any physical or emotional pain, um, chronic stress, sabotage patterns, destructive behaviours, self-doubt and beliefs and, and looking at those, you know, areas. It could be shadow areas. The release is something that you continue to do for the rest of your life. But once you learn these tools that I teach you, well, that's where you can continue to apply it for the rest of your life. And then the next step we go into is realign. And it's, so you can think of, you know, structural postural realignment of your body, of your spine, how are you standing, how are you walking, but also your thoughts, your mindset and um, alignment are you in alignment with your true authentic self? That's where your, your connection to source energy, to who you truly are, your higher self. And that alignment is super important in order to manifest and bring things into your life. And then restore, restoring your body. And this could be, especially if you're experiencing any health issues. Um, so restoring your body with nutrition or even a meditation that's for your mind and nurturing and nourishing your body and healing your body, your nervous system, any organs. So when I was sick, my 
liver was operating at 38 percent i lost eyesight in my left eye so i had to restore all these organs in order to heal my my body so what what i do is i take people through every system organ every cell in your body so that you can rejuvenate regenerate and reverse any ailment any deficiency any imbalance that's happening in your body to harmonize your mind your body as well as your soul so it's a, a whole restorative process that we go through and 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 that's also what i include in the ben method as well um, and also your um, connection with your higher self and source energy. You know, a lot of people say, I don't know um, how to meditate or I don't um, think that I'm intuitive. I don't get those clear, the clear answers. Well, you do. It's just restoring uh, that connection. It's like a, you know, telephone line it's that frequency you're tuning into that frequency okay and then rebalance this is rebalancing your work-life balance it's rebalancing um the reducing stress in your life and um and having more resilience so that you everything that you're doing in your life is balanced as well as balancing your energy and and looking at do you have a morning and a nighttime routine and your whole day all the activities that you do during the day is it balanced and then looking at your energy level um, as well as the uh, meridians and chakras which are invisible energy running through your body is that balanced and the other thing we look at is balancing your masculine and feminine energy. So have a think of, you know, do you operate more in the masculine or more on the feminine? And is that balanced? And, and also balancing your sleep routine, your exercise routine. Um, this is something that I used to really push my body to the limit and and I burnt out my adrenals uh, because I was over exercising and not getting enough sleep so again really important to ask you know are you getting seven to eight hours of sleep per night and do you have a balance of exercise um, in your week over the week and having you know a, a variety of exercise as well including yoga and pilates as well as you know your um, more active or um you know you're jumping around or more if you like running um things like that so you need a balance of different activities and then we get to re-energize. Now, the re-energize is where you jump out of bed and go, wow, I feel fantastic. I love my life. So is your energy on a daily basis running high or low? And where is the power point in your life? So just think about that, you know, when you feel low on energy, what do you do to plug yourself in to recharge your batteries each day? Does that does that mean having a a nap or for some people it means reaching for coffee um, or some kind of stimulant or energy drink or maybe food or sugar or so the re-energize is where we look at also um, what you're putting into, you know, um, your like your body to feel re-energized. Um, and if you can just tap in and just bring the energy down, because if you are feeling tired, 
you you um, are cutting yourself off from source because you are an energy being and you are unlimited. So if you're feeling tired and exhausted, well, listen to your body and and maybe take some time out to recharge as well as, you know, if you want to have a nanny nap, by all means do that. So also looking at the life force energy, this is your vitality energy that flows through your body. And, and this will help you to maintain, you know, your high vibration and energy field. So when you walk into the room, people feel your energy. So that's the five steps. And each one of these I have put together in different modules in my 5R Renewal program. And so I'll take you through that deeper. But the re-energize is, you know, how many people jump out of bed and go, wow, I feel fantastic. I love my life. I have the best life. And you just, you're jumping for joy. Okay, so you've had a good night's sleep, you're feeling positive, clarity, energy, optimistic, you're focused for the day, your whole day, you've got all planned out and, and you just feel so motivated, unstoppable, enthusiastic and excited. So how many people feel that? Okay, let's look at the iceberg. So the area that I work with is way down the bottom here. So a lot of people who, you know, do the talk therapy, that's sitting on the surface here, and you can talk and talk and talk till the cows come home. And what and talking about um, traumatic stories from your childhood and past actually just gives it energy and power. So what I like to do is dissolve. Let's get to the root cause. This is where I do my soul work and work really deeply with your soul as well as your inner child. And because any illness, um, when there's an imbalance or in, in your body, um, either mentally, spiritually, emotionally, or physically, any imbalance will cause disease. And so this is where I look at people from a mind, body, spirit perspective and look at the root of the disease and what's going on on a much deeper level. And, and then also when you take responsibility for your life, uh, your health and recovery will just expedite. And, and this is where I like to empower my clients to really take charge of their life, their healing. And I'm really the cheerleader, just facilitating the healing process, cheering them on. So addictions is a big one that we... Um, that a lot of people, you know, suffer with today. They look at what is that um, habit, let's just call it a habit, that you reach for every time you feel stress. Is there something that you automatically reach for? This could be your phone. It could be calling someone, scrolling through Facebook or checking to, you know, see how many likes you've got. It could be eating. For some, it could be smoking, um, alcohol. Some people uh, take painkillers. Some people exercise, you know, depending what, 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 when you feel stressed, what do you, how do you handle stress? And have a think about that. And if you feel anxious, what 
is the feeling and what are you thinking at that time? So what we want to do is restore our resilience and belief in ourselves and, and build those new neural networks, those connections in our brain and restoring our connection to our higher self and source energy. And just and, and this is where when you can do that on a daily basis, especially when you're feeling stress or anxiety, you just you you're in the flow of your purpose and you have clarity and you don't you don't sweat the small stuff you don't get caught up in all the little nitty-gritty details and that's where you create a miracle um and you just watch for miracles everything always works out for you mm -hmm. and you expect a miracle so we've all experienced you know uh, trauma hopelessness abuse or most people um anger there's been a lot of anger coming to the surface and so just ta close your eyes for a moment and just take a few long slow deep breaths in and out and just relax in your body. You can put your hand on your heart, connecting with your heart, and just focus on your breath. And just relax your whole body, breathing in. Just hold, breathe out, and rest. Just breathe into your heart. This calms your nervous system, gets you into your parasympathetic nervous system. And while you're focused on your breathing, just repeat this mantra, I am love. I am loved. And feel your heart expanding, expanding in your chest, filling it up with love. Keep repeating, I am love. I am loved. I radiate love. And send a big grounding cord down into the earth from the base of your spine and make it a thick one. And you use this as your drain pipe and think about what you would like to release from your life. This could be any chatter in your head right now, any um, thing that's come up from what you've seen in this presentation so far. Just breathe and release and send that down your grounding cord, any of the emotions, beliefs, old patterns, programs, even those addictions. And also think about once you've released all of these old emotions and old programs, who do you choose to be? And who are you now without those old stories? And what action are you going to take after this masterclass? What self-care will you commit to? And what actions will you take for your health and well-being moving forward to nurture and nourish you and love yourself? I am enough.
just breathing and releasing. Thinking about your next steps, what's coming through for you. Slowly coming back to your body, to awareness. Wriggle your toes and fingers and open your eyes when you're ready. Okay, welcome back. Okay, let me just run through each of these five steps again. So we've got release. This is releasing any past traumatic events, emotions, your story, belief, sabotage patterns, conditioning, any self-doubts, just releasing all that negative energy in your body. So you can imagine it, it's like pulling the plug out of the bathtub, releasing all the stress. And then we move to realign, realigning emotionally, physically, spiritually, mentally, energetically, aligning, aligning to our purpose of who we are. And then we restore, restoring our body, restoring our faith, restoring our nervous system with meditation, nutrition, restoring our mind, body and soul as a whole and feeding our mind and body with what's for our highest good and destiny. And what are you listening to? Who are you surrounding yourself with? What are you watching? Restoring your connection with your higher self. And then rebalance, rebalancing all the areas. In what areas of your life do you need more balance? Do you feel overwhelmed with too many things to do and trying to multitask? And do you have a, a regular morning routine or a night, night routine, giving gratitude to what you've achieved that day, all the wonderful miracles that you've created throughout the day or the wonderful people that you've met or the connections, the uh, if you've, you know, landed a, a big deal or whatever it is, just give thanks. Give thanks. It's the gratitude and being grateful automatically reduces stress. And then re-energize, being just full of energy and waking up feeling energized and feeling the passion and enthusiasm and bliss and just freedom, freedom in your body. So, and knowing why you're here, why, um, and what does it take? So really uh, being committed to your purpose, your vision and your mission and being focused on that. So that's the outcome. You wake up energized, feeling motivated, feeling joyful every single day. And that's what I want for you all. So like I said, I've got clients all over the world and I lived in California for seven years. So this is um, another testimony from one of my clients um, in San Francisco that I coached and she was an actress and again you know going for audition she needed to um, always be confident and and have high self-esteem and yeah sorry the videos 
are not working. Um, anyway, so the five steps, release, realign, restore, rebalance, and re-energize. What we're implementing is a fast track program to raise your energy vibration um, for you to manifest faster. So this is where you have clear thinking on a daily basis. So you're plugged in to who you truly are and what you're creating and attracting into your life. We go into a lot of different tools and techniques um, like the EFT, tapping, um, rewriting your script and rewriting your story of your life. Um, we go into a lot of energy work during the program as well. And we also, well, part of, um, I, I hold you your hand throughout the whole program, through all the modules. So let me just explain quickly about the actual program. Um, so you don't need to leave your house or do, you know, buy a whole bunch of books or um, sign up for any more uni degrees. You just show up. So what I'm giving you is the combination to the safe. And inside the safe is the 5R Renewal Program. And this is where I give you the combination to fast track so that you can have that full of energy, vitality, purpose, and just jump out of bed and go, wow, I love my life. I have the best life. So in this program, what you will get will go through the five modules, which is the five R's. They're all step by step with a workbook, with a lesson plan, with the audios and checklists. And then you also online get the coaching sessions with me. And, and this is group online that we go through. And there is also a Facebook community so you can support each other in the Facebook group as well as the online workshops plus a, a check-in call with me. So a coaching call with me um, each month just to check in and, um, and plus we will be on Zoom together throughout the month and a, a private call, a coaching call. So all of that comes to 25,100. And drum roll. So what I am giving you tonight is the 12-month group coaching and you get 12 months for only $3,330. Or you can do monthly payments of 333 And this program, you're actually getting the online program you're getting for free. What you're paying for is the group coaching with me where I'm on Zoom with you every single month. So I've already discounted this from the original, uh, let me just jump ahead, um, the, uh, sorry, original price of nearly $4,000 and whereas you're getting the program for free, and then I'm doing the group coaching with you on Zoom. So that is the 12-month group coaching. Now, that is called the Renewal Program. Now, the other special offer that I am launching and this special price, and I'll just pull up the slide for you, is the Ben Method Package, totally different. Now, this is where 
you can have a one-to-one -one treatment with me for one hour and energy um, energy clearing. It can be body work. It can be um, a intuitive guidance with cards. It can be a combination. You choose whatever you need in that moment. If you want hypnotherapy, we can do hypnotherapy. If you want body work or healing, well, then that can be your treatment. And then every week for four weeks, what you will receive is weekly training videos on balance, energy, nurture, and nourish. So this is where I can support you during sessions. So if you just have one session per month, you will get the four videos each week. And each of those videos also has an action step. So this is where I can give you ongoing support. And that is a special for 225 where you're getting an hour session with me plus the training all for only 225 so that's valued at 550 and for the month of june i am offering this very special prize which is like a beta test it's a launch price it's the grandfather you know rock bottom price so it's only for a limited time and this is how I can support you in between sessions. So if you would like that, just grab this link. It's on my website and it's called the Ben Method Package. And that is uh, for a limited time. And why am I offering? Because I want to help as many people as I can. And like I said, it's um, for a limited time for the month of June. And so if you're listening to this, reach out to me um, and or go to my website straight away and we can book in that session. And then you will be given a login to uh, go in and get those training videos, okay? So so it's like in a separate portal. So I promised you a free ebook. And again, you can download this at lindaben.com slash Ben Renewal Program and hyphen two. And you can get that free, free ebook. So there's two offers here. There's the 12 month group coaching where you can get 12 months of support with the online program for free. Plus you get the um, a group online support community plus the Facebook group, um, all the one-on-one -on -one sessions and their monthly sessions and you can cancel at any time. The group program, um, it is a 12 month commitment. And you're worth it. So I look forward to being of service to you. And if there's any questions, let me know. And I look forward to seeing you all soon. And namaste. And thanks for being here. Bye for now.